Well, doing Berlin in less than 10 hours is a bit of a crazy thing to do, I have to admit. And doing it all on foot, walking to all the destinations and all the tourist attractions is also a little bit ambitious. <laughs> but we did it! <laughs> so we arrived in Berlin uh, by train. So we got there early in the morning and our hotel, the one that I had booked is the train station hotel. And it was perfect because all we had to do was walk off the train right to the hotel and we could store our bags there for the day. So we dropped off our suitcases and we went out. So our first stop was across a few bridges. We made it. Here we go, doing Berlin in one day. Woo. Hey, Almost <laughs> got hit once already. <laughs> a few tips I'd have about when you're in Germany. So one would be that cars have the right of way. <laughs> this is a big thing to remember. It's not like in Canada when you are standing on the side of the street, a car is going to stop for you to cross. No, cars don't stop. So be careful when you're just jaywalking and crossing streets. Germany and that that building is really cool to see so we stopped there first and it's been on my bucket list to go up to the top of it the, the dome or the glass structure at the top of the building is available for public to go in and view and it's free so we went and booked a tour for the afternoon sadly we couldn't get a sunset one a little more planning or being there for a bit longer, we would have been able to do that. After booking our afternoon tour to go up the government building, we went out and started doing the rest of our day. And yeah. Our second stop was at the Brandenburg Gate, which is just an iconic structure you do not want to miss when you're in Berlin. It is really, really neat. So the Brandenburg Gate, when we went there, oh, it was him. all blocked off because there was going to be a concert that weekend and we went on a Friday. So we really didn't get to like walk around and see it, but that's okay. After the Brandenburg Gate, you can walk down one of the major streets, which is the one that the gate is on. And so that's what we did. We walked down the street because I had this mind, which was the Berlin Dome. Make sure if you go to go to the very top and do the loop around and get to see all of Berlin. Uh, after the Berlin Dome, we had to speed walk to the Berlin TV Tower because we had booked a lunch and you have to be there on time to get up the elevator. So we got to the tower just in time. You book to have lunch or dinner in the restaurant you get VIP tickets to go up the elevator. So it makes it super easy. It's like getting the fast track pass at Disneyland. You just go right on in. We went up into the Berlin Tower for lunch and had lunch 203 meters above Berlin. And the best part about the tower is that it spins around while you're eating.
Checkpoint Charlie, which took us way longer than I thought it was going to. I expected it to be about a 20 minute walk. It took us closer to 30 minutes or just over as we made a few stops along the way because there's some really cool buildings and I didn't think it was that far away, but it was. So we got to Checkpoint Charlie and we went into the museum there and we spent about an hour, hour and a half in the museum. And the museum is a place where you need like two to four hours to read everything and to actually absorb the information. It's the museum about how people escaped from Eastern Germany. So it tells you a lot of different stories and a lot of different perspectives about what Berlin was like 30, 40 years ago. But anyway, so you get to read some different things and see actually like the cars or the vehicles that people escaped in and that's really cool. So after Checkpoint Charlie we went to the Berlin Wall and after that we had to speed walk again all the way back to get to the Parliament Building in time which we were not on time we were late but we still got to go on our tour. <laughs> So we took a little bike tour to Potsdam Platz, which we were going to explore. By the time we got there, it was already dinner time. So we were pretty tired and just needed to relax a little bit. So we went into the Berlin Mall, which was really neat. One of the biggest malls I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. And when you're traveling with two girls, that's just what happens. So we went into the Berlin Mall for a little bit, got some ice cream. And then after that, we just went back to the hotel and actually went and bought some dinner. And that was our day in Berlin. And by the end of it, our feet hurt, but our souls were so happy with all the different sights and things that we actually accomplished in seeing in one day. So Berlin was the last stop on my trip in Estonia and in Germany. So this is where we head home and say goodbye. And I was not ready to leave, but I know that I'll go back. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the little day tour of Berlin. <laughs>